G'day guys. So I've got a bit of a wiring loom sitting on the bench here. So this is out of the sprint boat. So we've got the uh, HEI high energy coils here. We've got some injectors over there. I've got the, the box, the Motec M8, an ignition expander. And I've got the laptop connected. Now these laptops, this uh, M8, it's fantastic. It's DOS based. So we have to run the dinosaur. We have to make sure that we get the tuning cable the right way round so the aluminium bit plugs into the ECU and the plastic bit plugs in the back of the serial port, 9 pin serial port, yes. Noah was running the arc with this thing and then he traded it in. And then this is all on the keyboard, you can't use the mouse. So it takes a little bit to, to work out. Uh, we'll just get rid of that alarm shall we? F8. So when you first come in, I'll save it to the current file. It comes like this, it says adjust, yeah, we actually have to use those buttons. And if the ECU is powered up, we'll use the uh, current file. It'll say that it's connected over there, so that's good. And we're in the fuel circuit. Go to the main table, it brings up this one. And this is actually really interesting because I don't have a TPS connected. Here's the air temp plug. The TPS plug is that Deutsch plug that I'm pointing to over there. Water temp is, is over here. Oil pressure is there. Fuel pressure is just going off the edge by the crank angle sensor plug. Um, this one's actually running a Hall effect crank angle, but I changed the pins around. So in here what I did is I... A31, I put in... A sink signal, then there's an earth, then there's an empty hole, and A34 is the uh, reference signal, the speed signal, and then another earth. And then I connected it up to my uh, 4AG crank angle sensor in the drill. Now this one's great because it's actually got an RPM gauge on it. And it's the same, so it's 12, um, 12 and a 1. Now you guys are going to say who know anything about 4AGs that there's 24 teeth on there. Well, we've got 12 teeth on our crankshaft and one tooth on our camshaft as, a, as the reference goes. We've actually got a distributor, so it's got those same 24 and 1, but we talk about the crankshaft teeth being 12, and that's where it's set in the, dish, in the ECU. So if I actually turn this drill on, that works. We come over here. We've got spark happening, and the old injectors are working. And those ones are working. I have got the ECU uh, earth to the to the bench. And over here, if I'll just get rid of that code again, working at 100 kPa, so atmospheric pressure. It's defaulted an engine temp and an air temp, and a TPS. Oh, my battery voltage is getting down because I'm running on my jump pack. F8, but it's actually running those injectors. There's our pulse width, 3.8, uh, 3.18 milliseconds, 2.4 percent duty cycle. Yeah, we're having a fuel pump limit. So it's actually pretty easy to work with, and it doesn't need a whole lot of signals going in to make that ECU actually think that it's running an engine. Oh. <laughs> and of course it's half what we've so oh twice so we're running at 448 449 there and this is going to be about 900 900 rpm there we go m8 ecu running on a bench a bit noisy we'll turn this off pretty straightforward and easy to do and it runs perfectly fine if I unplug the coils. So that's just fine. I think it's, um, if I unplug this one. It's really quite tricky with one hand. I think it still fires the injectors just fine. I think that only does power to the coils. We'll have a look. 
Yep. The injectors are on the ECU relay, which is this one. 